Lubbock, Texas, home of Buddy Holly and world-famous rock and roll. Lubbock, Texas, home of Stuart Hines and world-famous overtone singing. What? Overtone singing? Who? Stuart Hines? Wikipedia, the online dictionary, describes overtone singing as a type of singing in which the singer manipulates the harmonic resonances, or formants, created as air travels from the lungs, past the vocal folds, and out the lips. Wow, that's truly a mouthful. Most people haven't heard of Stuart Hines, or for that matter, overtone singing, but Hines is out to change that. He's released a CD, ready to release his second, travels the world giving concerts, and even teaches the technique to others. Overtone singing is related to ancient Tibetan Buddhist monks yang style chants with a modern twist. Anybody can do it. According to Hines, overtone singing has been embraced by the New Age movement because of the physical, mental, and spiritual benefits of practicing it. But he has taken the technique to a whole new level. A substantial part of his work as a composer is devoted to writing pieces that he performs himself as vocalist and on keyboard synthesizers. Hines' unique style of overtone singing is truly contrapuntal, not drone-based. I first heard overtone singing when I was producing an experimental radio program at University of Michigan when I was a graduate student there, and I've been developing those techniques ever since. And that was the beginning of a journey that has led him down a path where he wants to take overtone singing mainstream. Uh, he's taken overtone singing to a completely new dimension. It's as if to the layperson, he opens his mouth and two distinct voices emerge at once. But for Stewart, it is second nature as he continues to improve his technique and his passion for being the best overtone singer in the world. So when Lubbock, Texas starts naming favorite sons, Stuart Hines' name may someday appear. Move over, buddy. There's a new man in town.